Hi guys, welcome to episode 5. In this episode, we sail to the remote island group of Kelephasia. I have a big trouble controlling yeah, the well, volume of my voice! I'm excited, I have to speak loud. <laughs> this is our housemate Pat. After crewing on a sailboat crossing the Pacific, he decided to buy one of his own in Tahiti. He bought a beautiful 28-foot 1974 Jeannot named Shiveda and sailed it to Tonga. We decided to take her on an exploratory mission up to the remote island group of Kelephasia. We planned to be away for a week and to also visit the Namuka Island group. While Pat got the boat ready, Jess and I were in charge of provisions. In true Tongan form, we had to visit at least a couple of thousand stores to get the ingredients for one dinner. With everything prepped, we were ready to leave early the next morning. So uh, we're up at four in the morning today. Uh, we loaded up the taxi, headed down to the dock, loaded the last bit of gear onto the boat, and uh, pulled up the anchor. And now we're on the way to Kelepasia. Pretty excited. Just motoring out now, out of the uh, Tongatapu group. A bit of weather ahead, so hopefully we'll have some good sailing. I know you wanted it, I know you wanted it, but. You were stuck in me like a cat in a bag. The brightest stars can, can fade, the straightest roads can bend. The cocker pops. You know some good things. After a dreary morning, the clouds cleared and blessed us with an absolutely cracking day sailing. There were people who got crushed like dry leaves There were lucky ones who got caught in the breeze Everything we sow, all the fields we tend Travelling at a steady four and a half knots, it was going to take us about 11 hours to travel the 50 nautical miles to Kelephasia. Must come to an end. Yeah. Um, so we've just uh, arrived at Kelephasia, just outside the reef now. Traveling since uh, 5.30 in the morning. Almost 11 hours. Pretty excited to get in and go for a swim. Uh, it's over there. Wicked. <laughs> so our faithful captain Pat over here is guiding us in. We're just trying to avoid some blind rollers. Yeah, if you look at over there, you can just see off the edge of the island there's a couple blind rollers. We want to make sure we avoid those. We finally made it into the anchorage and we're all pretty keen to go for a swim. I had learnt on the internet that there was a shipwreck somewhere in the anchorage. The vessel's name was Esvi La Torte, a 32 foot ferro cement catch that sunk rough seas after experiencing engine troubles pulling anchor and eventually breaching the hull on the reef. All four crew managed to escape safely 
and the wreck sunk somewhere on the reef. We decided to take advantage of the abundance of fish life and spear one for dinner. That was amazing. So many trout. Big moo everywhere. That shark buzzing here on the surface. That was awesome. Weirdest little shipwreck I've ever seen. There's so many trout there. It's oh, crazy. Trout city. It's great. So what have we got? One trout for dinner. Yeah, that's all we need for dinner. Nice little blue spot trout. We usually have sig at home, so we don't really shoot them. But um Small ones are alright and Tonga we've eaten a lot bigger and been fine so that will be delicious to dinner for dinner. Beautiful white coral trout fillets. How are you gonna cook it? Crumb it. No, not crumb it. Just corn flour and just shallow fry it with a bit of butter and garlic. My god. What have we got going on in there, Jesse? Um, some really strong rum and cokes because I think the cup's full of ice and rum and like maybe a shot of coke. A couple of sundowners. Sundowners. Captain Patrick over here. Sundowners. Well deserved. There you go. Put it on there. Need a stir. Strong. Good. Good. Is that Captain Morgan's? Cheers. Captain. Cheers. 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 To my first day sailing on the high seas. Thank you, Captain Patrick, for getting us here safely. No All right. How was your uh, first day sailing ever? Pretty damn good. Still buying a yacht? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think um, I'm really spoiled, but it's probably a good way to be introduced to sailing. We had, what, you think, we had like perfect conditions coming here? Pretty good, yeah. Like, good wind. Yeah, much better. Good sun. Like a tiny bit of rain at the start of the day, which I thought, oh, this is going to be a fun day. And then yeah. it, it went and it didn't, didn't come back for the rest of the day. I got a bit too much sun, but we um, made a canopy out of some sarongs. And we got into this beautiful anchorage and it's like, it's like Jurassic Park. It looks like there's yeah. a ruin, that looks like a ruin of some old castle over there. It's absolutely it insane. Raptors jumping over the top of it. It's crazy, <laughs> hey. We were overheating for about the last three hours of the sail, so 
um, as soon as we got the anchor down, we were, we all jumped in the water straight away and Michael found this shipwreck almost instantly. And um, we went and dived on that and he shot some coral trout. And we're gonna cook that up for dinner. What happened with the shark? Oh, and the little shark just swam up to me on the surface and I don't know, just Mistaken, had a bit mistake, of a- mis Mistake, mistook you mistook for a trout? Mistook me for a fish, yeah. I didn't even have the fish on me. I just turned around, it was there. No, it wasn't. But um, yeah, it's been a great day. Thanks, Pat, for inviting yeah. us on the boat Thanks to for coming. this Cheers. paradise. Cheers. Cheers. Off for Atu. Off for Atu. Oh, we just kind of miss the sunset. Feel pretty bloody good. With dinner ready to go, we all sat there content, admiring the sunset over paradise with a couple of sundowners. It was then and there that Jess and I decided that we would put all our energy to save up and buy a yacht of our own. Somewhere we can build upon our dreams though, and no one else can take away our freedom. Michael? Bit of fried coral trout that I shot this afternoon on the shipwreck. What are you doing with it? I just um, marinated it with a bit of egg and garlic, a bit of salt and pepper, and then I just dusted it in corn flour at the last minute and just frying it with a bit of and what about the side dish? What have you got? Side dish, we have a little salad here. I don't know, you made it. What's in there? Chickpeas, no. avocado, cucumber, cucumber tomato. tomato All lime. stuff that goes off quickly. Yeah. But, pretty good. Doesn't get much fresher than that. Thanks so much for watching guys. Join us next episode where we get off the boat and explore the island of Calificia and then set sail to Namuka. That was our fifth episode guys so we really came to get some feedback from you. Um, if you can leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. Or both. Or both. Even better. Thank you. I don't know who made them now they're all gone Never to be whole again in my heart but hold on, I'll take us somewhere you and I can be alone Somewhere we can build upon our dreams though And no one else can take away our freedom